a two-pronged attack from the air and ground. Fighters loyal to Libya's renegade general Khalifa Haftar try to recapture two oil terminals. The Raslanouf and Al Sidra sites were seized two weeks ago by a rival group, the Benghazi Defense Brigades. The facilities are in the heart of Libya's vital oil industry. They have been fought over and changed hands several times since the fall of the Gaddafi regime. Haftar and his men, the so called Libyan National Army, took control of the sites last September and want them back. They're also fighting for control of Libya's second city, Benghazi, and say they have driven competing groups to the outskirts. The enemy is inside the damaged building. We're firing on all the damaged buildings directly. This row and the one behind are under their control. Now we're about to break in. Khalifa Hefter supports one of two competing political blocs in Libya. He also enjoys the backing of the Kremlin, although Russia is rejecting reports it has deployed special forces to help Hefter's current offensive. If the rumors are about servicemen, you should address your questions to them. I'm responsible for diplomats and can say that there have been none of our diplomats in Libya for a long time. They were forced to move to Tunisia and conduct work in the Libyan direction from there. The UN-backed government in Tripoli has denied any connection to the takeover. It is struggling to contain fighting in the capital city itself in an unending cycle of chaos that has come to define Libya today. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.